All right, y'all. So we got UFC Nashville, San Haken versus Font, underdog of the night. Now, if you guys don't know what underdog of the night is, basically it's where I pick an underdog on the card that I believe should be able to win the fight based on the matchup of the fight. We're going to get straight into it. The underdog of the night for UFC Nashville, San Haken versus Vaughn will be Gavin Tucker. Now, I'm going to get right into it, guys. Gavin Tucker is going up against Diego Lopes. Now, if you guys don't know who Diego Lopes is, he took a short notice fight against Mazvar Ivalov, who's ranked number 10 in the featherweight division. And he put on a really decent performance where he almost had Mazvar in a few dangerous submission attempts. Um, and he's been known to do that. But it was a short notice fight. Mazvar wasn't prepared for that. He didn't know who he was. So he went, you know, he had his uphill battles to climb in that fight. But since Gavin Tucker is actually going to be well prepared for Diego, you know, for Diego, I feel like that alone in itself is going to make the fight obviously clearly different. Another thing gavin likes to wrestle he averages about three takedowns per fight accurate with his takedowns and diego lopes has a terrible takedown defense of a 36 percent meaning that whoever shoots on him and has any ability to take him down will do it and he has no problem being in his guard so he'll actually lay on his back trying to go for submission attempts not only that but gavin you know gavin tucker is a more technical striker than diego lopez i'm not saying that diego lopez isn't um you know dangerous he's clearly dangerous but his last two wins have been against people that are not even good at all. Like, I literally have to double check their records. They have, like, terrible records. I think they might have been 12 and 12. Like, yeah, one one guy was 12 and 12, and the other guy was 10 and 10. So, we're going to sit here and go off a guy that's, you, you know, his last two wins, his opponents have a combined record of 22 and 22. Then he loses to Mazvar Ivalov on a short notice call up. I mean, th there's just no way I'm going to put stock into that guy. Um, I'm going to definitely trust Gavin Tucker to get this done. Obviously, Gavin Tucker's last fight, he got knocked out by Dan Ige. But that was two years ago, guys. So the fact that he actually got knocked out two years ago and took two years off from the sport, make his brain recover, um, that's only another plus to it. So Gavin Tucker has all the tools to win this fight. The only thing that's kind of concerning that could, you know, it, I'm not going to lie, is the height and reach advantage. But it's not like, Diego, like I said, it's not like Diego Lopez is some type of super technical guy. He's really not. You know, and if you can get close to him and close the distance, he'll allow you to take him down because he likes to play off his back. He likes to play that BJJ game. So I see Gavin Tucker being able to get this done. The only thing that Diego Lopes has for, you know, going for him is two things. One, he's kind of dangerous. And two, hit the height and reach. That's the only things he has going for him. But everything else outside of that, Gavin Tucker is just a better fighter. And I'm going to have to go with Gavin Tucker to get this done. So, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Underdog of the night, Gavin Tucker. Remember, we are keeping track of the underdogs of the night officially now. I did start with Wonder Boy versus uh, Holland, but I lost track. I'll be honest with you guys. So I want to do it sufficient, you know, efficiently now and the right way. Obviously, last week didn't go right for us. We did, you know, Michael Chiesa to get the job done. And he went out there and fought like a punk. I mean, he said it himself. So it was just pretty terrible from him. So unless we have people that are idiots like that, they're going to go out there and, you know, wet the bed when they're fighting, you know, with their health on the line, then we really don't have anything else to worry about because we're picking, we're making logical picks here. So. We're looking to bounce back this week. Gavin Tucker, underdog of the night. Guys, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And y'all let me know who is your underdog of the night for UFC Nashville, San Hagen versus Font. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.